Hello all, I would like to talk to you about my HDMI video playback module. This one here offers 12 digital inputs, also offers two style of digital audio outputs, fiber optic cable, and also coax. Right next to it is a 35 millimeter stereo jack which can offer you the standard uh, analog output. And then of course you have the HDMI video which also offers audio output. Turn on and off, little 12 volt uh, plug. And this jack right here is actually a serial port if you wish to hook this up to an Adreno, Raspberry Pi, or actually a full blown computer. Flip it around here. On this side we have both USB and an S card reader to deliver the videos you want to watch simply by pressing a button somewhere inside your kit car. 12 inputs, all plugs. Those will come to you with this plug right here. Four color wires, plug right into there. Red and black is channel one, white and yellow channel two, then you go over here, then you have channel three and four, five and six, seven and eight, 9, 10, and of course 11 and 12. Always red and black, white and yellow. Let's see what this thing does in action. Over here I have my demo dash, so let's go ahead and turn it on. First I'm going to go ahead and flip the switch here and turn on the actual unit. And now let's turn on the dash. It takes a while to actually load the unit. The more files you have on your SD card, the longer it takes to load. This has the capability of holding a 32 gig. Knight Rider, a shadowy flight into the dangerous world of a man. I'm going to go and turn that down real quick so I can actually talk to you about this. This unit, as you see right here, has buttons that are soldered onto it. Channel 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then of course 7 and 8. I have this hooked up to my demo screen through a yellow jack composite output, which is going through an HDMI to composite output. It is simply being powered, as you can see here, by the USB port brought to you already equipped within this video module. I'm using the SD card here to give you the, the playback of the videos. Over on this side is the HDMI output, again going to the converter, power jack, and that's it. So let's go and see how this thing works. First of all, as you can see, I have a still picture on the screen but I have an mp3 playback so that is possible you can also have video file playback or just simply no sound at all and just a simple picture in order to activate the device you simply hit a button and here we go the way I got this set up right now you can rearrange it any way you want button one is season one, button two is season two, button three is season three, button four is season four, and then I have next and previous so I can go between episodes. This one here will give me a return back to the main menu, and this one here will give me my special bow animation videos. So here we go. As I said, you can go ahead and select to a different episode. Another episode. They all start the same way, so it's really hard to tell. Let's pick a different season. There we go. 
should be episode one, season one. I mean, season two. Next episode. Hi, uh, Lieutenant. Need a little help? Nope. Next Maybe episode. We're hungry. Wait a minute, I want to watch the previous episode. Go to the previous button. Hi, uh, Lieutenant. Need a little help? There you go. Nope. Don't Again. Don't want to watch anything? You want to go back to the main menu? Again, all at a push of a button. Low animations. Next animation. Next animation. As you can see, all guys, I'm just hitting the button here. There you go. And so that's how this thing works. Comes with a wireless remote. You have to buy the battery for it. I cannot send batteries through the mail. It requires a CR2025. You can operate it fully by the remote. For instance, Mute. Mute helps. Knight Rider, a shadowy flight into the dangerous world of a man who does not exist. Mute always helps. I have to how to find it. New remote, new buttons. Alright, first of all, as soon as you get this puppy, the first thing you want to do is you want to set it up. That's the first thing you want to do, and you have to set it up using the remote. Alright, so let's go through this real quick for you guys so you understand. You have a setup button. Let's hit it. Setup button is now on the screen. You have the option of a system, audio, video, or miscellaneous. Okay, first thing you want to do is you want to go into system. Again, using the yellow keys to go back and forth and the OK button to accept. Like I said, we're going to go into system, so we just want to hit OK to accept. Okay, first thing, uh, everything's in English. If you want to change it to a different language, be my guest. Other than that, let's move, we can actually hit the button to the right here and we can go to the next audio oh shucks too many times audio what do you want do you want the HDMI output do you want the coaxial output do you want the surround sound whatever you wish next is the most important which is the video video selection is required in order to set this up for your particular setup inside your car number one you have a four by three ratio inside your car not a widescreen with the 16.9, you have a 4.3. So select that the 4.3. If you do not, the videos will not show up correctly. Number two, video TV system setup, HDMI audio. Deep color off, that's personal preference. And then that is it. Once you do that, it will remember it every time you turn off the system. So now let's go to the menu. There we go. Still got the mute button on. Play a video file. There we go. We also have a next setup menu itself. Right there. We'll hit the menu button. A little button pops up down there as far as what do you want? Subtitles, audio, repeat, repeat all, repeat off, and then of course video settings you can actually change brightness, contrast, color, everything you want right there. Again, simply using the yellow button inside the remote will allow for you to go up and down. If you do not at, hit the button within five seconds, I mean, I'm sorry, 10 seconds, it automatically plays the video one more time. Okay, the way I have this hooked up right now, again, is an HDMI cord brought to you to my little box here yellow jack going directly to my video monitor and then I have white and, white and red going to my audio system which in this case is nothing more than a external speaker I have inside the garage that is amplified okay see what it's doing play the mute button now how does this work 
million dollar question. How difficult is this? Tony, this is so difficult. I can't comprehend this. Yes, you can. This is simple as drag and drop, people. Drag and drop. If you watched my other video, you saw how simple it was. This one here is just as simple. I have the SD card. Like I said, 32 gig maximum is what it can accept. So right now we're going to go over to the computer. It recognizes it. Okay. This is Windows 7. And this is the way I got it set up. First of all, theater on top and this part will be stored onto your SD card once you install it for the first time. One, two, three, four, and eight are all buttons. I can have buttons one through seven play and don't do anything uh, with the playback control. All that is taken care of right here in the auto play. This is my simple kit uh, jeg. As you can see, that is what you see on the screen. It's my menu. Audio file. Audio file has to be in small case. Just like that. Once you got it in small case, you drag and drop the MP3 file you want on here. You can drag and drop 5, 6, 17 different MP3 files and it'll just play one, go to the next, next, and next. Go back to the root directory. So, button one has audio files in it. I do this for myself. That way I know I'm always going to get them in proper order. Start with the lowest number which is the pilot episode, 00, zero actually I can change that to a 1, it actually has episode zero, zero, uh, episode 1 and 2 together I think, okay, that's done, F2, zero, zero, 002, and then F2 again, I can change that to zero, zero, 003. That is episodes 1, 2, and 3. I number them only because I want them to play in numeric order as episodes, not in alphabetical order by the file names. Same thing, in, like I said, season 2. I only have a couple episodes just for demo purposes. Season 3 and season 4. As I said, season eight, I just have some drag and drop Bob files here from the Bo DVD. I highly recommend it. Great animations brought to you by Bo McDonald. These are Bob files. This little unit can play multiple different video files. So far, you've seen AVI, Bob. You can also play MP4 files as well, and a few others listed inside the instruction manual. I'll see if I can post that with the links. Now, how does this thing work? All done to you, brought to you by right here, the autoplay. This is a notepad, notice people, notepad, something you can get easily. Start button, all programs, accessories, notepad right there. Bring it up. You now have a brand new note pile, so you can type anything you want. Do not save. So this is the one I've configured for this particular demo. Volume can go all the way up to 32. I have the volume set at 25. That is just the audio output from the player. You are going to be playing this through an audio system or an amplified system that has its own volume knob. You can control that just fine. Do not think that this is how loud it's going to play. Again, your amplifier or car stereo, however you're playing this through, has its own volume knob. Number two, IR mode equals one. This is simply saying that you're wanting to do button control. Zero one equals zero one backslash. It's telling this is telling you button one equals folder one button two equals folder two Th button three equals folder three same thing for four and now I said you have a whole list let me bring to you the, bo the booklet a whole list of different controls that you can assign to the buttons as you see 
This column is your command. That tells that is what you can assign to every single button. In this case, I'm only using two, uh, three of them. Uh, I still got next assigned to button five. That's what was make, allowing me to go back and forth between episodes previous for season six, and then of course return is button seven to the main menu, and then of course eight is full, uh, simply uh, folder eight, which had the Bull McDonald animations. That is how simple it is to program. Very simple. Now, how did I get audio to play with my still file? As you, as I already told you before. That's my folder, I mean my picture I have in there. You have to right click, new folder, and type in audio, small letters, please. It is case sensitive. Big. I would hit, simply hit enter, but I already did it once, so I don't have to do it again. Here's my audio folder I created originally, as I said before. Just drag and drop an MP3 file in there. There you go. If you were to drag multiple MP3 files in here, you can then hit the buttons 5 and 6 to go to the next song, the next song, and the next song. Very versatile unit, very customizable. However you wish to do it, you can do it. Again, theater and part are all files once it plays in the mp3 I mean I'm sorry instead of the media center it plays it and it stores it those files onto your computer how do you get it started very easy first thing you gotta do is when you got a blank disk is you wanna take the SD card right click format and you want to format FAT32. I believe Apple doesn't have FAT32. I think they just have FAT. I, uh, but uh, if you got Windows, do FAT32. I'm not going to do it because the file works just fine. And how does it come? Well, when you get the unit, the unit's going to come to you in a box just like this. open up the box. The, of course the unit itself comes with it inside the bubble wrap. I believe I sell these for $15 to convert it. If you have an HDMI output that you are input on your uh, dash monitor you're using and don't need it, no problem, tell me. I won't sell it to you. Comes with an HDMI cable already. Right there. And how to get powered? Right here. This plugs into an American style socket. Sorry for you people overseas. Plugs right into the unit. A little hard to do this with one hand. Sorry guys. Apologize. Again, that fits right there. Turn it on or off. This is the master switch. Okay, so if you wanted to, you can have this hooked up directly to your battery at all times. Oh wait, forgot the most important part. How do you hook this up to your battery? Because all know we don't have 110 outlets inside our car. And let me show you. Very easy, very simple. <laughs> Sorry, I should have had this ready. For right now, you literally cut the cord, boom, like that. And here it is, when it's cut. It has a red and a black wire inside of it. Guess what? Black is ground, power is hot. It's that simple. Again, this plugs into your car, um, plugs into your jack. And these are what you have to power up. 
however you wish. Ignition, battery, whatever you wish, that is up to you. You can actually power this off my dash to layer my remote modules as well. This thing consumes, I think, 1.5 amps, if, if not less. The wireless remote, as I stated before, does not come with a battery. The battery you need, let's see if it says it right there. I don't know if it says. Hopefully, you don't hold it upside down. Yeah, there it does. It says it right there. There you go. CR2025, as you can see. CR2025. And that's about it, folks. A post pricing for this. Right now, I have two units to offer. Two units. Let me know during ordering if you need this particular item to convert it from HDMI to your uh, composite screen on your dash. Um, one more quick, quick thing I want to touch on is the audio output. The HDMI cable does carry audio to this, so if you wanted to use this as your audio, not a problem. Or if you wanted to use this as your audio, not a problem. Either one would work. No worries on that. Like I said, this thing is fully 100% customizable. You can hook this up to your upper console, lower console, steering pod. Heck, you can even hook this up to a negative output on your car alarm. Whatever you wish, or your little Bluetooth controller and relay board. It's possibilities are endless. It's only limited by your imagination. And uh, also comes with an instruction book. Very handy, very nice. Oh, this little doohickey. This little thing right here is a cover. This is only for you if you really want to do this. Comes with two screws and a cover. As you can see, and the uh, two screws covers up the SD uh, cord and allows for the SD card never to fall out, which is a pain in the butt. If you, uh, I do recommend bolting this underneath the passenger seat, and uh, that way it's easy to get to. Go ahead and be able to pop the SD card out whenever you wish. But if you have it covered up with this, with what it comes with, you can't do that without a screwdriver. So I don't recommend that. Uh, as you can see, these simply plug in. That's it. Plug, plug, plug. Tells it right there what they're for. Zero, one through twelve. Everything's fully labeled. Twelve volts. Power on and off. Tells you when it's on. LED. Like I said, thirty-five millimeter stereo jack. HDMI output coaxial digital output as well as a fiber optic output and the I.O. right here and here are simply nothing more than being able to control it through TX and RX. You can actually control it through serial port data from an Adreno or a uh, Raspberry Pi if you have one of those inside your car. Thank you very, very much folks. If you have any questions feel free to ask. If there's something I didn't touch on the demo, let me know. Um, I'll go ahead and Power one of these puppies up and shoot a quick video on it for you. Thank you so much, folks.